The Dow and S&P 500 rising for a fifth straight session Friday in a broad advance. How much further north can the markets go? Well, let's ask George Ball to look into his very accurate crystal ball. He is CEO Sanders Morris Harris. Good afternoon. Welcome back, George. Uh, I'm George Ball. I do have a name named Crystal Ball. By the way. <laughs> She's not right all the time, so don't be you, careful. You, you've been so accurate, though. You know, when, you, when I had you on our show August, you said it's time to buy Bitcoin. Then we saw Bitcoin all of a sudden take off in late fall, nearly quadruple by December. On November 6th, right after the election, you said stocks will go up through the end of the year, and the S&P 500 indeed added another 7%. So, George, where do the markets go from here in this quarter? Well, I was right twice in a row, Fred, I should stop. Um, and <laughs> Probably the market should stop uh, if you look at a number of fundamental traditional um, matrices. I don't think it will. Um, I think at this point in time, there is a good deal of supply, demand, momentum, and investable dollars that are stacked strongly in favor of the market continuing to go up for now. Now, I'll, I'll emphasize for now, but the uh, the betting man, betting not on the Super Bowl, but uh, that's two and a half days from now, for the next two and a half months, will probably uh, do quite well if they're participating aggressively in the U.S. stock market. And what gives you that sense, George? What are you saying? Uh, there are a couple of things pow powering it, Fred. One is animal spirits. Every investor, institutional, hedge fund manager, Robin Hooder, they like to see things go up, makes us feel good. So there is a buy side, a uh, higher price bias. Uh, secondly, the power of the large number and large dollar uh, volume of retail investors, Robin Hooders or Reddit, chat board readers is uh, a huge incremental factor in common stocks. A year ago, the retail investor was 5% of common stock volume. Today, he or she is 25%. And the, the impact of that swing is enormous. I buy and hold stocks. I don't really influence price changes day to day. Uh, but the people who are actively trading do. And there are a lot more of them, individually small, cumulatively very, very large, that are looking for things to buy. Uh, and that's going to keep the market propelled upward, I think for the next several months at least. Okay, so rally mode for the next several months, but do you see foresee any huge pullback or correction in between? Uh, not in between, but but afterward, Fred. Uh, you know, supply demand is an inexorable force. It's sort of, sort of like Father Todd. Uh, they've, it's never been defeated. At some point, the stretched market and just the number of good things that have happened that have made prices go up are going to reverse. Specifically, margin debit balances are now $772 billion, an all-time record, and they've been spiking up like that. If you look back in history, probably most recently uh, before the uh, Great Recession 2007, margin balances were at a record and spiking upward. If you look back to the first dot-com bust, 1999, margin balances were spiking upward and were at record levels. We've got that as a real red flag. Now, it's not an overnight red flag, but when there's that much speculation in the market, you're ripe for a major pullback. I think that will happen sometime in the spring, but, th but that's a guess. High margin debits equal the likelihood of a major correction. And George, if you have money now, cash on the sidelines, what would you put it in? At, at this moment in time, I would be very aggressive. I would buy the new generation of uh, technology stocks, not the fangs. So those are yesterday. Uh, today is Teladoc. It's Mercado Libro, which is the uh, Argentinian-based Amazon. Uh, it's probably the cryptocurrency uh, ETFs, by the way, for the investor or speculator. So I'd be quite aggressive for now, but ready to sell if I see prices start to cascade downward. Wow, that's pretty aggressive because, for example, uh, Mercado Libre, that, that, that stock 
uh, practically tripled over the last 12 months and it's up another 14% this year. Those cryptocurrencies, Ethereum, for example, has really shot up even faster than Bitcoin. But you you still would go aggressive at this point. At, at, at this point in time or now, if I was a more aggressive investor, yes, I, I would be heavily concentrated in that genre of equity or cryptocurrency. All right. Thank you, George. We'll uh, keep watching and uh, check back with you in a few months. Our thanks to George Ball of Sanders Morris Harris in Houston. I'm Fred Katayama in New York. This is Reuters.